don't have to be a part of the church to be a part of the alliance in defense of the natural family. We are not an alliance only of churches. We have many folks that are not even in church that join with us. It is not about red and blue. So we call on Belizeans nationwide not to join the march tomorrow for the blue against the red. We don't participate in those things. We are not out here on a partisan view. We are out here on defense of the family. And that's why we came, and we know that people in the cabinet, we want them to know that we do know and understand that there are folks in the cabinet that do not go with the LGBT agenda. We respect them. Now we ask them to put their pants on the way they should, stand up and be men or women if they are, to stand up for the people of Belize and say, PM, enough is enough. If the party of the PRI, the PRIistas, the president of the PRI, in Mexico launched and approved the gay marriage, but his party rejected it. He had to back off. We're calling on the UDP executives. We're calling on the UDP party that they will tell their PM, because it's their party, back off. Back off or it's over. We don't, we are not here to replace the red with the opportunistic blue. We're not. We know the game. And that's why we're here. Well, how can he make that demand when, uh, truthfully speaking, there are members of his executive and members of his inner circle who are indeed gays and lesbians? Wouldn't that be contradictory? How would it be contradictory? Rewind your tape. I didn't say all. I said there are members. If I made a mistake, somebody correct me. The PM said that, not me. The PM was clear. Not everybody in his cabinet agrees what's going on. So we are calling on those that do not agree with the PM to stand up and the ones that are LGBT, they can take a boat and go to the UN or somewhere else. The reality is Belize has always had LGBT members. We've never fought with them or discussed anything with them. I have no qualms with Orozco. Orozco didn't bring this upon us. The UN, the EU and the US brought this upon us. Why invert the Belizean flag? What's the symbolism oh. behind that? Thank you so much for asking. Belizeans, I think it's title 10 of the US law says that whenever the nation is in distress, the flag is flown upside down. Many nations understand that. I'm a military man. I respect the flag. I've watched Belizeans out here stand while the BDF and the police drag the flag on the ground during the 21st September. It makes me cringe because you, if you do that in the US, you're in trouble or in any other nation. The US flag, up, the Belize flag upside down means it's our nation in distress. A boat that's out there flying a flag inverts the flag, and if you're, dry, you're, you're uh, uh, going nearby, you know the flag is in, the, the people are in trouble. That's why we inverted the Belize flag. Actually, let me, let me be clear. We did not invert the Belize flag. And I want to also be clear. I, have, I believe that CJ is singing for his supper. I believe that he's liberal, but I do not blame the CJ for his ruling. 21 September 2013, PM ordered that ruling. Read PM's order to the CJ on that day. And the PM lied at this press conference, and I said so. He lied at this press conference when he said that it had to do with, with, uh, with other issues. I had it in my hand. It's not other issues. The real deal is he was talking about this issue. And so we are making it clear. Belize is not a nation that should subject itself to a homosexual agenda that has been losing ground in Latin America in the last three months like crazy.